What's up? This is Stormmaker, and I'm about to do an entire video series on my own custom Mandalorian armor. And the armor that I'm about to go ahead and start, you know, doing the custom job on is from the Mandalorian arsenal. This is the Death Watch set. Uh, the first video is going to be for the helmet, and as the video sets keep coming, it'll be based on certain pieces of the armor and exactly what all I'm going to do to it. Uh, before I get started on explaining what all is going to be done, uh, David White, who you know pretty much is in charge of the whole thing, you know, big shout out to him as far as making it. Great job. Um, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and make a few modifications. You know, nothing too big, but uh, just a few things that just needs to be you know adjusted before I can get onto the priming and painting of the helmet and installing the lens, of course. Um, as you can see, first of all, narrowing it down. Uh, you can see that the helmet is made of resin, which is pretty durable, very good. Uh, the rest of the armor is not. The rest of the armor is actually made of a vacuum plastic, but that's actually pretty good. You definitely want the helmet to at least be able to, you know, take a few things. Nothing heavy. Uh, you can already tell that the outside's already hit with a silver primer, which, you know, the guy, you know, David White had already gone ahead and, you know, installed different things on it. You know, got the ears, and this model is actually based off the Death Watch, which is, you know, from Star Wars The Clone Wars, the series. Um, I've pretty much taken a liking to that style, so I decided to pretty much use that as a substantial setup. So, on my base as far as what I'm going to do. But as you can tell, there are a few things that we're going to have to work on before I can actually get started. Uh, first off, as you can see right here, you can see where the glue is after the silver primer hit it and it's uh, would be probably where it kind of leaked a little bit and you can still see a crack right here not necessarily a bad crack but it's just where the glue didn't you know fill up all this and then uh, there's a little bit here but not bad it's a it's better flush there than there uh, the front and then you have all this uh, just needs to be trimmed a little bit and then on this side I might do a few things on the inside of this but it's probably not gonna be too bad but anyway as far as what I'm going to do we're gonna go ahead and take an exacto knife and we're gonna go ahead and cut off the extra glue right here that way we can go ahead and trim it down to you know that way it looks a little bit better besides it looks like you know glue sticking out people start wondering after the finished product they'd be like you know what on earth didn't you bother to go ahead and change you know like trim them down and we don't want to be treated like that um and then after we do that we're going to use a little bit of bondo on the inside of it we're going to go ahead and use that bondo glazing and spot putty which you can get from any automotive shop this stuff right here it's going to work great uh just have to remember to use it in thin layers do not use it in heavy uh so we're going to go ahead and have some fun with this, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get started on it. 